From West Erie County to Crawford County, Philip Ward and I were, well, we encountered heavy rain and many lightning strikes. Yeah, Mike, the lightning was a constant as we headed south down I-79. But what we encountered when we got into the city of Meadville, right downtown, you had to be there to believe it. Head turning lightning just before the Meadville exit on I-79, where we stopped for gas at the sheets in Meadville, but a power outage affecting the pumps kept us from filling up. At the intersection of Park Avenue and Willow Street in downtown Meadville, Charlene Pappas got out of her car to help Meadville police and firefighters in the middle of an incredible downpour with lightning all around her, she never flinched and directed traffic. I don't know, just used to staying out in the traffic doing it. For over 30 minutes, she kept traffic moving and didn't even want a pat on the back. I enjoy it. <laughs> Any reason why? What makes you want to do this? Um, I don't know. It helps the community and helps save the fire department and cops. That's my radio. Other hand. Oh, my cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good on my end. And at that intersection in Crawford County is an Arby's restaurant, Philip, and they offered her food and something to drink. But Mike, she declined and went straight back to work. And for all of her efforts, she didn't even get paid. She just no. simply wanted to help the community. Live in the studio, Philip Ward and Mike Ruzzi, Area News Now. Emily?